few, if any, bombers of the Second World War enjoyed a longer or more distinguished operational career than the Vickers Wellington. Blooded in combat at the very outset of hostilities, it carried the lion's share of RAF Bomber Command's night bombing offensive until the operational debut of the four-engine heavies, and it was still in the front line when the war ended. Indeed, such was the brilliant battle record of the Wellington that any tribute can be but a pale reflection of the distinctions that this remarkable warplane won for itself. The Wellington's docility, combined with a lively performance and the ability to absorb an outstanding amount of battle damage, rapidly endeared it to its crews, and its portly, well-fed appearance engendered the nickname Wimpy, after the strip cartoon character. More than any other bomber, the Wellington proved the power-operated gun turret to be a formidable defensive weapon, but it disproved the widely held belief that large bombers could undertake daylight bombing raids against heavily defended targets without fighter escort. Like most successful combat aircraft, the Wellington was a result of teamwork, but it undoubtedly owed its success to the revolutionary geodetic, or basket weave, system of construction. This was an ingenious idea by Barnes Wallace, and even more remarkable because of its essential simplicity. 